Good day everyone. Holy moly, what have I got here? Well today, I paid a visit to Neil, the guy who gave me the Sharp PC7000, which I have yet to film a video of. I've got to do that one of these days. And that's an inside joke now. But uh, yeah, I paid a visit to him to deliver something to him that I gave him in return for the Sharp and uh, it's something that he's been wanting. I gave him one of my oscilloscopes. I have two oscilloscopes. I don't need two oscilloscopes, so I gave him one. I gave him the Iwatsu oscilloscope, and I did film a video of it uh, uh, before doing so. So I'll be able to show you guys that oscilloscope eventually. And uh, yeah, I came to visit him. I stayed for, I think, almost three hours. And uh, he showed me all of his stuff. And... Uh, Man, he has got a lot of stuff, let me tell you. Um, and it's just really, really awesome uh, collection of vintage electronics he has. And uh, he's actually cleaning shop a little bit. He's getting rid of a lot of stuff that he doesn't want anymore. So he offered some stuff to me, which uh, I gladly accepted. So let's see uh, what he gave me. First of all, he gave me two Adaptec PCI SCSI cards. That is awesome. I don't have any SCSI cards. So now, thanks to these, to these cards, I can use SCSI hard drives in my PCs. Now, my only SCSI hard drives are the ones in my Macs, so there wouldn't be much utility in connecting those to uh, any of my PCs, but I do have two uh, SCSI CD burners. So I can certainly uh, test those for the first time because I've never tested those yet because you need to set up drivers on an older Mac to work with one of those. So instead, I can stick one of these in one of my PCs, connect the drive to it, and uh, I'll be able to test the drive in the PC. That'll be pretty darn cool. This smaller card is from, I believe, 1997. Yep, 1997. It's got the old 50-pin connector and a connector on the uh, outside here. This larger card's from 1999. It's got a 50 pin connector, a 68 pin connector, that's pretty nice, so newer SCSI hard drives will hook up as well, and a different connector on the outside, different than the connector on the outside of the other card. It seems external SCSI connectors are really, there's like many different types, and I don't know what the difference between them is. But anyway, moving down, he gave me a couple of AGP video cards, which is awesome, because my only AGP video card is my ratty old ATI Rage 128 Pro. These cards are orders of magnitude uh, more powerful. This first card is in MSI. Uh, it was, it was uh, sold by MSI. It is an NVIDIA GeForce FX 5900 XT. It has 128 megabytes of DDR RAM. That is awesome. Very nice. And it's got VGA, DVI, and S-Video out. Very nice. So uh, yeah, assuming this card works, this will be very useful in one of my many PCs with AGP cards, um, with AGP slots that could use a good AGP video card. This card dates from 2004, I believe. Very nice. This other card's a bit older. This one was packaged by Asus. Uh, you know, I've looked it up and I can't find specifically what model it is, but it, it's a chip from the GeForce 3 series. And this card has 64 megabytes of RAM. I would assume DDR, or it may actually be SD RAM, I'm not sure. This card is from 2001. So that's very nice. Next, he gave me this, jeez, uh, holy cow. It's a Hewlett Packard SureStore DAT8 drive. DAT means digital audio tape. It's a cassette tape format, originally developed for music, and it is digital, uh, but it was later adapted for computer data storage as well. So this drive takes a DAT tape uh, I don't know if there's a general DAT tape that'll work or if it has to take a tape that's meant for the DAT8 standard. The DAT8 standard means it can store 8 gigabytes of data onto a tape. 
really neat. It's a five and a quarter inch half height drive. And uh, it's got the 50 pin SCSI connector on it there and it came with a cable as well. Oh, so that's what one of these cards will be used for is uh, to test this drive out. This drive was actually originally connected to this card. I removed it just for the purposes of the video. Next, uh, he gave me this. He told me not to be shy if he offered me something and I decided not that I didn't want it. It's a Linksys uh, card bus Ethernet card, 100 megabit with the dongle. Um, I did take this originally. I might actually give it back to him because I actually already own one of these, an IBM one, and I have no use for that one alone, let alone two of these. So I might actually give this back to him because I can't make use of it. Um, if he don't want it, then I'll do something with it, put it on eBay or something, I don't know. So there's that, anyhow. It's got a neat dongle on it with three activity LEDs. And then uh, this last thing is by far the coolest. Take a look at this. This is an honest to goodness Sony Mavica floppy disk digital camera. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, he actually had two of these and uh, he gave me one of them and uh, wow, I really appreciate it. That's, that's so nice. It's kind of funny because just literally just in the past few days, I uh, I forget what reminded me of them. Something reminded me that these existed, and I decided to read up about them. And I decided that it would be cool to have one just to play around with. And literally last night, I started looking for these on eBay. I actually planned to buy one fairly soon because it turns out that eBay is just glutted with these for super cheap prices. Just pocket change. So I was actually going to get one on eBay really soon but wouldn't you know it he had not one but two of these and he very generously 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 gave this one to me. I really appreciate it. This is going to be great. There will be a video made on this camera uh, at some point. So there is the stuff that Neil gave me. Thank you Neil, I really appreciate it. And what I want you guys to do is check out his channel because obviously he's interested in this stuff like I am and he does have a few videos on this stuff, not very many yet but a few. And uh, I think very, I think um, at some point he's going to make a video of the oscilloscope that I gave him. Very cool. So I have linked his channel in the video description and I think you guys ought to check him out. And if you like the content he has, then you should subscribe to him. So there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at uh, all this awesome stuff that Neil gave me. And I will see you guys later.